If it's your first time having Campari, or the first time you had Campari and you didn't like it, I recommend this cocktail. So welcome to Cocktails Jamaica, and it's Randy Thomas, and here is where I create classic cocktails and culinary cocktails. So I have something interesting for you today. But before I start making this cocktail, I have some history to give you. It's a tiki style drink, and it's from Malaysia. Also, it was created in 1978 at the Avery Bar in Kuala Lumpur Hilton Hotel. So the name came about when patrons sat in the Avery Bar, they could see the beautiful birds in the different cages. Hence the name Jungle Bird. So Avery, birds, jungle, you get it? Because of the ambience. All right, so let's go right into the cocktail because I know you guys have been waiting patiently. So today's cocktail that I'm featuring consists of Campari, Jamaican rum, pineapple juice, simple syrup and some lime juice. But before I start to make this cocktail, what I want you to do is to subscribe and if you already subscribed, click the bell icon so you don't miss a content whenever I post it. And remember, if you like this cocktail, please like the channel and share it with a friend. So let's go right into the cocktail. Alright, so I'm going to start with Campari. I'm going to use three and quarter of these. Right. One and a half ounces of signature blend rum. Right. No, half ounce of simple syrup. And the same amount for the pineapple juice. And now for the lime juice. Half ounce for the lime juice. Right? So let's add some ice. Alright, so now we're gonna just cover the tin and shake. Perfect. Garnish with a pineapple slice, pineapple wedge preferably. Alright, and there you have it, the jungle bird. Alright, so let's taste. I'm gonna call somebody on camera to taste this drink because people have been complaining that I am biased to, towards my own cocktails. So I'm going to call Rachel to come and taste the cocktail. Rasha never had Campari in a tropical drink before. She normally have it with rum cream or a splash of soda water. So today I'm going to let her try this drink and you know make her judge it a bit and tell you guys what she think about it. So, Rasha, come on, try it. Hi, and I'm not biased because I'm a cocktail junkie, okay? So, what you say in this drink? You taste and tell me. For the ingredients, the right here, sister. Well, yeah. <laughs> but tell them what you taste it. Right off the back, I can get the Campari. The bitterness, the essence of the bitterness of the Campari. I'm tasting the orange juice. Orange juice. Pineapple oh, juice, sorry. You're the chunk already? Pineapple juice, so no orange juice, I'm just saying. Maybe you're tasting the citrus from the. From the it's the citrus flavor. From, from the lime, from the home choice lime juice. Right? You don't taste yeah, the inter, inter sweetness. So you think you substitute. So you think you drink this instead of the pink fashion? No. No? No. no. That's all wrong for me. You have to understand it, sir. But it's actually really a nice food to drink somewhere you can just sit down and just sip. And sip. Alright guys, so you heard from Rasha. Um, if you think you if you think you like this drink, I think you should comment below. Um, if you want to see Rachel more on the channel, comment it below. Um, she's an upcoming mixologist and she's a tour guide at Apples and Estate. And she's an ambassador for Cocktails Jamaica. So you'll see her here from time to time. Alright? 
time and guys remember you can follow me on all social media platforms at Cocktails Jamaica and please leave a like and share it with a friend share this channel you know because once I grow I grow with you guys all right so this is the end of the show so thank you guys for watching and I really enjoyed the time that we spent together so see you soon more lovely cocktails coming up and remember to tell your friends to subscribe we can't stop pressure that um, big up on yourself all right and stay safe and drink responsibly guys